Mega Praise Ministries. We're out to reach the lost, to bring the lost sheep back home, to build a relationship between God and man, for the worship, the presence, the healing, the restoring. That's what it's about, the restoring of the homes, the restoring of the families, the healing of the bodies, to enjoy a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We love the worship. We love the outpouring of the presence of God. This is what this ministry is all about, Mega Praise Ministries, to see what that was that was lost. Welcome to Only the Truth. I'm your host, Christy Given, sitting in for Pastor Manuel Johnson, and he's with Mega Praise Ministries. I have a very special guest today. It is Evangelist Holly Hester. She has a Facebook Live program, and it's called Higher Living with Holly. She's also one of my precious friends. And welcome to the show, Holly. So, Wonderful so having you. Oh, my goodness. This is, we're a long ways overdue on having this program, and it's been such a journey of faith, you know, even just how we've connected. Yes. Um, you know, Holly and I actually, we went to the same high school, unbeknownst to us, and her wonderful brother, who's here in the live studio audience, had connected us via Facebook a long time ago, and we randomly connected at Pastor Benny Hinn's Ministries, and when I saw her, I just knew immediately in the spirit we were soul sisters. I knew her by the spirit. I knew she could hear God, and she just was encouraging me in the spirit. And we just almost had like this angelic bubble around us where we could, we just connected on another level. And so I'm so honored to be here today to fill in for Pastor Manuel Johnson. And he is just such an amazing minister, a connector. He's been on multiple networks. He's had his own radio show. And he's one of my um, older brothers of the faith. And he's definitely just been someone who has looked out for the younger generation, which I'm so passionate about. And I know that Holly, too, has a mantle on her life for the younger generation. And not only that, but she wants to bridge the gap between the older generation and the younger generation. So speaking of, Holly, I want to ask you, what is your vision for, for Higher Living with Holly? My vision is definitely to send revelation, to send wisdom, to send direction to my generation, my, but not just my generation, to many other generations, uh, to the harvest that's going on. There's a huge harvest going on. It's reaching all generations. We're no we're bias mm. of generations. We're no respecter of generations. God's extending his hand right now mm. to every generation, but there's a specific mantle on the, la the former the former generation of the great patriarchs and matriarchs to the latter generation, mm -hmm. which is what our eyes are seeing. Mm -hmm. Your eyes, mm -hmm. my eyes, everyone watching us right now, even their eyes, and those of you that God has highlighted to step up, that God has personally chosen and called to step up because you have a mission. Mm, I love that. And you actually were sharing with me when we went over some of these questions, you were sharing with me your, um, your mission and your vision. And you said that the Lord gave you a scripture. Yes. And what was that scripture? Yes, absolutely. It says in Habakkuk 3, 4, in fact, that says he will make your, he will make your feet. He will make your foundation. He'll make you as hinds feet mm. to as deer, enabling you to tread upon the mountaintop. Now, why would a deer be on, mountain, be on a mountaintop? Because it says that in the word, we are to be as gentle as a dove, but as sharp as a serpent. Mm. Sharp, as quick, quickly witted, mm. but sharp and tender. Tender and gentle, like a dove. Harmless and gentle. Now, let's take dove to deer. See, aren't doe, aren't doe in the scripture very similar? Aren't they very similar in characteristics? They're both sharp. They're both stern. St steady, steady foot. Steady foot, stern. Just very steadfast. 
mm. in, under the blood, mm. but they're also very gentle. They're dough. Mm. They, they drink from the water. They drink from the water, as it says in Psalms. So Habakkuk 3, 4, high places. See, a, he, he, will make, he will make the dough tread as it goes upon the mountaintop. The snow, there might be, the mountaintop might be covered with snow. It might go through every season of hardship, that of joy and of a hardship. But it's not going to stop until it treads, until it goes full throttle to the mountaintop of honor. Mm -hmm. And I love what you said, your vision is about breaking strongholds. Yes. And you said something about going into yes. those doors. So you want to yes. elaborate on that? Absolutely. There are, there are open doors, but there are also, there's, there's open doors, but then there's strategic and specific open doors. Some may not even know that. I'm, I may be even, that may be you. I, in fact, I definitely feel that's registering to someone out there as I say this. As I say this right now, someone's saying, that's a re I'm registering to her. I'm, I'm succumbing to this call. You may see an open door even right now that's open for you, and you didn't know that it was before. See, man, it says in the word we lack for, for, for we lack in the knowledge, and we perish for, for lack of knowledge. Man perish for lack of knowledge. Let me bring knowledge to the table right now. Let me bring some things forth to you. There are specific open doors to these high places. There are specific territories in these high places. And there are doors that are specifically designed to open different ways for you. Just like in the word it says in Psalm 104, the, enter my gates with thanksgiving, enter my courts with praise. So there are gates in high places and there are courts in high places. And God will get you in. It may not be the front, it may not be the back, it may be the side. God may take you in like they drilled the man who needed healing in the word on the rooftop. Wasn't he drilled in on the rooftop? God will drill you in oftentimes. He will bring carriers for you to carry your anointing for you, to land, to, to strengthen, to go for you, to be your strength, to climb you up on the roof and to drill the hole, to drill a perfect hole. That hole was not sloppy, ladies and gentlemen gentlemen, my viewers, that hole was not stop, sloppy. It was strategically carved to bring him down. He had to be. He had to be brought down in the specific measurements to be lowered to get his healing. Mm. See, the Son of Man was a carpenter, and carpenters respect it. Carpenters can see even measures. That's why it says in, in Proverbs, kings, only God knows the balancing of scales. See, it was, he was balanced that day when he needed his healing. He was balanced, and he was brought to a high place to be humbled mm -hmm. to get the healing. I love how you minister, Holly. You're such a natural. I just love so it. Much. And I love, you know, <laughs> hearing you preach and minister. In fact, Holly had a very special event at the Citadel Church in Panoma City here in California. And me, Pastor Manuel, her beautiful mother, her brother, and a couple of us went and supported her. And I have a new event I want to announce that you're doing, and it's about the Women's Conference. Do you want to share a little bit about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. In fact, there's a flyer. I don't know if they can, if they can yeah. see it or not. You can hold it up. It's Maybe prevail, they can prevail, prevail, if they can get a Women's Conference. Yes. Prevail. And when is it happening? Women's Conference. Okay, so this event takes place on Friday, May 10th from 7 to 9 p.m., guys, 7 to 9 p.m., and then Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So it's going to be in, in the uh, 915 South Fairfax Area Avenue. All right, of Los Angeles. So any women out there, any moms out there, any soon-to-be moms out there that you need just preparation, you feel like it's a season of preparation for you. You, see, you feel like it's a season of armor for you. This will be an armor. This will be an armor bearing. You may find your armor bearer out there. You may feel like you're being launched into your ministry now. You feel like you need an armor bearer. You feel like you need unity and just to be just, just completely imparted into. 915 South Fairfax Avenue, Los Angeles, California, Friday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Saturday morning, May 11th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. See you out there. Registration is free. Yes, and also there's going to be the gospel singer Darlene yes. Smith-Jones oh. and the pastor's wife, who is a beautiful woman of God, Pastor yes. Mary Acosa. Yes. 
and it's going to be a conference connecting all women, mm -hmm. and Holly will be speaking on something about a diamond. Yes, purifying the diamond. Purifying the diamond, and I love it because I gave you that word, the cut clarity color, and I can't wait to hear it. And even if they can't make it, can they watch it online? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, it's definitely going to be aired online. You can visit the Facebook if you follow it on social media. Okay. Um, like the page, follow it For on Christ Instagram Citadel. and Facebook, Christ Citadel International, Los okay. Angeles Women's Ministry. You're going to see it and recognize it by the words prevail on it. So Christ Citadel International. Look that up on Facebook. Look that up on the website. It's website. Uh, www.ChristCitadelLA, all lowercase, dot O-R-G, org. Beautiful, and it's so amazing to see how God opens up doors, just like she was talking about, and how Holly and I get to minister to you today. And right now, we're about to watch a video, and it's for Christian Solidarity International. And so, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that clip right now. During the Sudanese Civil War, Islamic militias raided the Christian majority villages of southern Sudan wreaking death and destruction. Hundreds of thousands were kidnapped and taken into slavery, torn away from their families, forced to convert to Islam, and subjected to untold horrors. Today, tens of thousands are still enslaved, but there is hope. Since 1995, Christian Solidarity International has liberated over 100,000 of these who have been enslaved, bringing them home, reuniting them with their families. We need your help to bring those left home. $250 will free one person from slavery and provide them with the survival kit. Basic items like food, shelter, a goat, and fishing supplies. Please, help us bring freedom for South Sudanese Christians and other minorities by giving generously. $250 frees one person. $500 frees two people. $1,000 frees four people. We won't stop until everyone has been freed. Join us. So that was such a precious video. If you want to help contribute, um, you can go to the Christian Solidarity International website. Also, if you'd like to support Pastor Manuel Johnson's program here, you can go to megapraiseministries.com. It's there on the screen. And right now we're going to take some time. We get so many prayer requests. He has tons of prayer requests coming in. We're going to, Holly and I are going to touch and agree over these prayer requests. And we're going to just lift that up right now. We'll just get straight into it. So, Holly, you want to come over to just lay your hands Absolutely. over here on these beautiful, precious prayer requests. And if you guys have prayer requests, you guys can send them in to Mega Praise Ministries. Um, so, Lord, we just lift up these beautiful prayer requests, God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We are coming here humbly before you, God, that you say that before we ask anything in your name, Lord, that you already know what we need before we ask and that you hear us. You say that your ear is attentive to the righteous and he delivers us out of all of our troubles, Lord. And so, Father God, we know that you care about every detail of our lives. You care about every hair on our head, God. You know every need. Father God, I thank you, God, that these beautiful prayer requests are so valuable to you, God. And I just I just praise you, God, for these. And if you want to add anything. Yes, of course. Thank Lord, you, you Jesus. see us not as one, but as a multitude. And it says, whenever two or more are gathered in your name, so you are forth, so your word has commanded forth. Father, there's angelic activity all over these. You said the prayer request. You didn't say the prayer request. You saw the need. You saw the answer. You said you saw the answer, so you dispatched the angels. So, Father, we don't even see these people. We see the angels on assignment that are on it. We see the fluttering of the wings of the speedy answer. 
answers. We see the answered prayer requests. We see the smiling faces. We see the multitude of the praise forth that's going to... There's praise in this. There's praise. That's why it says mega praise. There's praise. I prophesy praise over this. Yes. I prophesy a new worship over yes, this. Lord. There's a new worship over this. These are not answers. These are urgings so that your sacrifice and your aroma can come back to you in your nostrils and smell in a new and fresh way. There are new seasons for these individuals. We give them to you. They're all precious in Jesus' mighty, powerful name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And also, I just want to give the floor for a time of ministry. You know, um, some of you tuning in, you may feel tired, you may feel weary, you may feel that you've been pressed on all sides. I know a lot of the end time remnant warriors have been getting pressed, have been side swiped, but the Lord is preparing you. What he's about to do in the earth, the Lord was speaking to me on my way over here and he said, why do you expect specific people that misunderstand you to understand you when what you're about to birth has never been birthed before. That me and Holly, we're preparing, we're pioneering something that has not been done before in the earth. The Lord is bringing forth a revival. He says in the book of Acts that he will pour out his spirit on all flesh, that the sons and daughters shall prophesy. And there has been many attacks against the people of God. And so we need to continue to stand strong it says, after putting on the whole armor, then stand firm. Stand firm wearing the full armor of God. And so, I don't know, Holly, if you feel any other words of encouragement just for like another minute, what Absolutely. the people may be needing. Absolutely. First of all, I just want to tell you, you're so approved by God. You're so very approved by God right now. Someone definitely needs to hear that right now. Someone who's watching me, they're smiling. They're smiling widely, but they're asking, is anyone seeing my spirit of joy? Is anyone seeing the spirit of joy that's leaping onto me from watching this program today? Yes. We see you. We see you, you eight-year-old out there. We see you. We see the call of God on you. You that you're so precious. You, you, you little rascal, you. We love you. We love you. You're approved. Smile more. That's your word. Smile more. All who's watching this right now, the Lord's holding your face. The Lord's kissing you all over on the face. We think a mother's affection toward us is fathomable. How much more affectionate is God Almighty? How much more does he give us kisses? And he sends us heavenly kisses. He kisses us. He approves of us. There's grace for today. Know that. Grab onto that. Feel your smiling face. Put your hands up to your face and feel warmth. Feel the warmth in this anointing right now. Feel the smile. Feel the smile brighten. And know that God is a shining star in you. And so right now, we're going to take a moment and we're going to praise just like Holly said let's let's praise we're going to show you a 3 minute video clip and it's a worship song called the other side amazing grace so we'll be playing that right now thank you
You guys, you're tuning in to Only the Truth. Pastor Emmanuel Johnson is not here today. I'm filling in for him. I'm Christy Given. And I want to share a book with you written by his wife. It's called God's Air Force. And I am reading this book right now. It is an amazing, powerful book. And it's about how to dwell on high. And it's funny because Holly Hester has a program called Higher Living with Holly. She's on Monday nights, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Facebook Live, follow her at Holly Hester. And she, you know, is such a mighty woman of God. She is going places. So you can find her on Facebook. And I want you guys to support her. God's opening more doors for her. She's at the Christ Citadel Church this weekend. So come on out. And um, I know that you probably have a website where you can get people to kind of donate or whatever they need to do because you're traveling yes. now yes. from Texas yes. all over. Yes, I'm, I'm definitely, more doors have, have been open, more ministry doors, and I'm, and I'm traveling more. So what you can do is you can go to my website. There's prayer requests sent. If you believe in that, if you believe in the fruit and what my ministry is about, I would highly encourage the giving. HigherLivingHolly.com HigherLivingHolly.com Go to the website. There's going to be a text to give at 915-228-2835. Again, that's 915. Write this down. 228 2835 whatever you feel led to give give it anything helps uh, gas it's not cheap to travel but it's more it's the most effective to get the word to get the word in your hearts to save your families to 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 get people out to create the joseph and right now you're being commissioned right now in fact that's a word for you many of you in fact all of you are being commissioned right now you're watching me right now god's commissioning you god's tucking on your hearts go in the name of jesus yes. rise up with yes. purity with holiness believe in the latter and yes. the former generations believe in the connecting jesus gave the bread to disciples he broke it gave thanks and unified them together my mission is to get people together in these higher places to tread on the devil to tread on the lions and cobras if you believe in that text give to the to give to this number right here give go on there get your prayer request let your prayers get answered watch them get answered and watch miracles happen yes and the bible says right here in matthew 10 verse 32 Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. So if you're watching right now, I want to commission you into the kingdom of God. We're going to say a prayer. Some of you watching may know Holly, you may know me, or you may just randomly be tuning in. But we want, if you are not a believer yet, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, the awaited Messiah, then we want you to pray this prayer. If you are looking for true freedom, if you are looking for hope, if you are looking for light and life, you know, this program is called Only the Truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. And that's why we're here today. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you would come into my heart, that you would make me born again, that you would renew a right spirit in me, that you would breathe your Rahu Kadesh, the Holy Spirit in me, that you would renew and cleanse my mind, my thought patterns, that I would live at a higher level, that you would remove all the dross out of my life, that you would remove all the distractions. Help me to seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, and that all those other things shall be added. God, I believe on your Son, and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And I ask you, God, to help guide me in my path, to know my purpose, my kingdom purpose. We're all here on purpose for purpose. Holly's here to do higher living. We're both called to Hollywood, and we're also going to help bridge the gap between those that have gone before us, such as Billy Graham, and we're going to see the mantle passed down. And so, Lord, we ask that these people watching, that just say, I believe it, and I receive it. I receive the anointing coming through the airwaves, and I believe in the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and it's the blood of Jesus that gives us life. 
God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And if you believe that and confess that and believe it in your heart, you shall be saved, it says in the word. And we seal this prayer, Lord, by the Holy Ghost fire. We seal this prayer with the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would seal their citizenship in heaven, that they no longer are, are people of this earth, but they are people of heaven. We congratulate you for being adopted into the kingdom. And we thank you, God, in Jesus' name. So we thank you for tuning in. Only the truth. Pastor Manuel Johnson, I'm Christy Given, signing off with evangelist Holly Hester. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. God bless you.